How are you doing? Good. Erin's going to let me leave in a couple of days. Thanks for bringing that chalk. I've been drawing a lot. I'd be so bored without it. How do you like living in the shelter? There's a lot of people here. I like that. I heard a funny joke yesterday. You want to hear it? No, I'm busy. That's okay. I don't get it anyway. How's Jennifer? She's out a lot, but I understand. She's a scavenger. I have to go. Alvin lost his spider scout again. Man, I saw it crawling through the shelter earlier. It almost gave me a heart attack. You wanted to see me. You're finally here. Good. I have a special task for you. I want you to head downtown to check on the doctor. Doctor? Alvin. He's out there making sure that our defense systems are working properly. Ever since we went radio silent, I had a small team of trustworthy messengers maintaining communication between our outposts. They haven't returned. So I want you to go downtown and see why that happened. Could be nothing. But Connor doesn't want any hiccups while he's up there in North Division preparing the attack on Skynet's central core. Is there a problem with the radio? The Annihilation Line is within spitting distance of downtown. We suspect that Skynet will be intercepting all transmissions from that location. So for now, we're going radio silent. That's why I need you to go there personally. Central core? Skynet's main reactor. The source of all their power. We shut down the central core, we shut down Skynet. Connor's preparing the attack as we speak. So you understand we can't have any critical complications at this stage. If you don't mind me asking, how did you end up here? Excuse me if I act a little surprised, Sergeant. But no one in here thinks it's wise to ask their superior personal questions. But since you did... I'll humor you. So, how did I get here? The same way you did. I was born, raised, then given a gun. We don't really have a say in what we do, do we? Or do I assume too much? Was it any different for you? Hmm? Why do you fight, Sergeant? We don't have a choice. Exactly. We're just going through the motions. Humans were fighting humans since the beginning of time. It just so happens that right now we have a common enemy. If it wasn't for the machines, we'd probably be fighting each other. So, I guess we should thank the machines for teaching us compassion. I guess we should. I have my special way of thanking them. A shot to the skull from a plasma rifle. Besides, I'm not a fighter. When I go out there in the middle of the night with my Westinghouse, I'm not looking for a fight. I look to seek and conquer. I'm not a fighter. I'm a bully. Who wants to be a bully? Believe me. There will come a time when you'll become whatever you need to be to survive. No one ever stands up to bullies. But I have to admit, it has its downsides. One of them being that no one ever asks me a personal question. At least not since Perry died. So congratulations, Rivers. It takes guts to stand up to a bully. I guess since your promotion, you got a little more cocky. Good for you. <laughs> 